close your eyes, take a couple of good long deep in and out breaths, and notice where you feel the breathing in your body. Focus your attention there and keep it there for a while. Notice if the breath feels comfortable. If long breathing feels good, keep it up. If not, you can change. Different kinds of rhythm, different kinds of texture to the breath. See what feels good right now. Stay on top of right now. Be mindful right now. Be alert right now. Because these are the qualities you're trying to develop as you meditate. The good qualities to have for whatever you do in life. But particularly for training your own mind. You want to understand what's going on in the mind. Why is it that the mind, even though it wants happiness, keeps doing things that cause suffering and pain? You want to look into it so you get the mind to settle in here. It's this kind of work that the Buddha said makes a day auspicious. In Thailand there are calendars that will tell you which days are auspicious, which ones are not. But the Buddha said it doesn't depend on the calendar, it doesn't depend on the stars. It depends on what you do with the day. That's what makes it an auspicious day. It says if you do your duty today, then it's a day well spent. What duties do you have? Whether the duties of the Four Noble Truths. Now these are not duties that anybody is imposing on you. But there is the fact of suffering in life, and that squeezes you. You want to find a way out. So if you want to get out, these are the things you have to do. You have to comprehend your suffering to realize that it's not what other people are doing to you, or situations outside are doing to you. It's what the mind is doing itself. It's clinging to things that it shouldn't cling to. Why does it do that? That's the cause of suffering, which is the craving. And it is possible to put an end to suffering by putting an end to the craving, and you do that by developing the path, which basically comes down to virtue, concentration, discernment. If you work on these three things, you've made your day an auspicious day. It's a day well spent, because the duties of the world can take you who knows where. They don't come with any real guarantee. But the Buddha was able to guarantee through his own awakening that these Four Noble Truths and their duties are true everywhere, for everybody. And if you act on the duties, you're going to get the same results that he did, freedom from the mind. So everything you do in that direction is well done. And any day, any night when you do that would be a day and a night that's auspicious. So try to make this day as auspicious as you can, and then tomorrow, and then the next day. Keep at it. That way you get an auspicious week, an auspicious month, an auspicious year, an auspicious lifetime. Because you're following duties that really are substantial and really do have a good effect. They do give good results. A happiness that doesn't have to depend on day and night at all. That's where we're headed. But to get there, we have to make use of each day and each night as they come, so use them well.